Hey everybody, welcome back to another unboxing and review of my Eagle Moss Star Trek Starship Collection. This week's episode is... On the Jem'Hadar Battlecruiser. Alright, let's open her up. Alright, so as always, the base is metal. And I'm a little worried already because the hole for the uh, the holder is near the back, and that generally means uh, leads me to believe that it's going to be all wobbly and not safe to display. But we will see. Uh, the back's got the uh, felt backing, and it has a sticker that tells you what it is. Jump put our attack cruiser. Um, there you go. It is a battle cruiser, and the lights is attack. Here, the magazine even says Battle Cruiser, but whatever. Um, all right, let's see how this goes into there. Please be stable. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, great. Yeah, very slight wobble, very slight. This is actually pretty goddamn stable. Okay, I'm very optimistic about this now. All right, let's check out the ship. All right, here we go. Jim Hadar and Battle Cruiser. Close up here. It's pretty good so far. No Aztecing, but uh, you don't generally see a lot of Aztecing on uh, alien ships. Nice right, some beaches here. You can see windows all along the here, the hull here. Probably on the other side, yeah. These pointy warping cells. I'm assuming these are warping cells as well. The magazine will let us know, but uh, yeah, they, they look like mini warping cells. Maybe there's a separation feature for the ship. Maybe it could be their equivalent of a quad in a cell starship. Uh, but I uh, guess we'll find out soon. No discernible hull markings. So, a lot of, a lot of detail on this hull. And I like that. When a ship's not going to have aztec as long as there's lots of detail on the ship, it looks good. Let's check out the bottom. Alright. No idea what this is. <laughs> uh, but I'm sure the magazine will tell us. Probably a weapon of some kind. It looks intimidating. Very nice hull detail on here. Let's get an aft view. There we go. The forward view here. Bottom view and a top view. It's a really cool ship design. You know, we saw it on the show a lot, but holding it in my hands and actually being able to feel it and look at it, it's actually pretty cool. Get a, a, a new appreciation for the design, I think. It's so aggressive looking. This looks really good. Yeah, I'm not seeing any blemishes on this thing. Like, everything on this model seems to be pretty uh, pretty pristine. Uh, the last one was a little disappointing to me because Akira is a really good ship. I like that design, and there were some blemishes on there. But uh, this one seems to be put together completely well. Solid ship. Alright, let's uh, figure out how the stand works on this one. Oh, okay, that's neat. Wow, okay. So, this is stuck. Look at that. This is a really, really good stand. This is probably like the most solid base and solid ship in the base we have seen yet on this series. That's awesome. 
I'm not afraid to move this thing around. Look at that. Not afraid at all. Cool. All right. Let's uh, take a look at that magazine. All right, everybody, let's take a look at this magazine on the Jem'Hadar Battle Cruiser. It's a very aggressive looking ship. I don't know if I've said that already, but it really is. And next is the Jem'Hadar attack ship. I like the Jem'Hadar bug. That's an awesome ship design. It's a ship I used on Star Trek Online a lot. <laughs> Shot of it inside the wormhole here. Getting ready to kick some fetty butt. Oh, wait. Alright, let's get some information on this ship. Here's the upper view. Oh, so that thing at the bottom is a cargo bay. I would have never suspected that. That's interesting. So apparently these aren't warp engines, these are fuel storage pods. And this is indicated as an ion propulsion engine. And it's their warp engine. Interesting. I'll have to do some more research on that. And there's Jim Hadar and the Dominion. Some more Jim Hadar Dominion stuff. Here's some concept art. The old John Eves. The man's amazing at ship design. I actually didn't know that he was the designer of this one. That's pretty awesome. And there we have it. As you can see, next week's episode is on the Cardassian Galore class ship. So that's going to be interesting. Well, that was pretty interesting. I hope that answered some questions. Uh, now let's get down to the rating of this thing. Um, I do realize that this review was a bit shorter. Uh, I tend to not make these long if I don't know a lot about the ship. But if I do, I like to share the information I do have. Um, because, hey, I've accumulated it. Might as well share it. Um, the overall displayability... Uh, Right off the bat, amazing. 10 out of 10. Uh, the thing is solid. Look, I, I'm picking it up from the ship and it's not falling off the stand. I'm pulling and it's not falling off. A little harder. There we go. There we go. Like, that took a lot of work. <laughs> so, displayability, definitely 10 out of 10. It, it, it looks fantastic. Look at this thing. It looks fantastic. Alright. Now, let's talk overall appearance and quality uh, I mean it's a mean looking ship the design itself looks aggressive as hell perfect for the gem Hadar. the quality on it looks really good uh, there is no uh, Aztecing but there's a lot of hull detail that you really don't need the Aztecing to make this ship pop uh, everything seems to be in place everything is you know facing in the right direction there's nothing wobbly on it there's nothing uh, glued on haphazardly like this thing was put together perfectly and it looks fantastic uh, so this ship's gonna get a 10 out of 10 so perfect score here for this ship uh, doesn't happen very often <laughs> all right everybody thanks very much for watching if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up if you didn't please give it a thumbs down if you'd like uh, if you want to see more of my content, please subscribe and also click on the bell notification button so that you'll be notified when my videos come out and please check out my, my other videos. Thanks very much for watching.